The SD70M-2 is almost identical to the SD70ACE, save for the DC traction motors and the vented box behind the cab on the conductor side of the AC units. It's plated over on the M-2s. The M-2 grew out of the need for EMD to comply with the new Tier 2 emissions requirements in the United States. Its biggest competition was the General Electric ES44DC which outpaced the M-2 in sales. Canadian National and Norfolk Southern operate the largest fleets with the CIT Financial Group having leased out about 11 of them to the Florida East Coast at one point. Just like the Phase 2 SD70Ms, NS has recently placed their SD70M-2s in storage for eventual sale. What did you say? I said 
Southern SD60E number 6906 began life as the Chicago Northwestern SD60 number 8048 before becoming Union Pacific SD60 number 5998 during the UP buyout of the CNW. It was sold to Helm Leasing where it kept its UP road number before being sold yet again, this time to Norfolk Southern where it was numbered 6546. NS was buying up used SD60s to be converted to more fuel efficient, eco-friendly SD60E models. Of the 250 that were planned, 135 were constructed with the remaining SD60s sold off. The 6906 is shown here at the Juniata shops just chilling on the beautiful spring day of May 10, 2017. Two and one half years later we caught the 6906 again. This time it was charging hard up the 10 mile climb to Clark Summit with 124 cars in tow. According to the conductor of this train, their weight was within 200 tons of the maximum tonnage for the power they had on the train today. Keeping in mind that the trailing GP40 was probably offline. The 60 series diesels was EMD's response to the many complaints from the failed 50 series locomotives as well as the proving ground for its new 710 line of diesel engines. The SD60E was a step up from the standard SD60s with more horsepower, better emissions, digital technology, and the 710G3B prime mover as opposed to the 710G3A found in the standard SD60s. The logical next step was the new generation of EMDs, the SD70 locomotives. The SD70M-2 is the SD70ACE's DC traction counterpart. Norfolk Southern, Florida East Coast, and the Canadian National were the only customers to purchase this locomotive new. Like the ACE, the locomotive was rated at 4,300 horsepower, but unlike other railroads, NS ordered all of their SD70M-2s at 4,000 horsepower, which was par for the course for the NS at that period of time. Canadian National had the most M-2s of any railroad at 190 units. NS rostered 130 units at its height, although several were wrecked and many more were retired and or sold off. The FEC rostered 8 M-2s with the second order being built with the isolated cab. As well, these units had the Rail America inspired paint. After the ES-44 C4 showed up in late 2014, the FEC's SD70M-2 locomotives had been leased to CSX by First Union Rail and later to the NS in 2018. The CITX also had three on its roster, those being the three demos that were sold to them. These units were on long-term lease to the FEC and were considered part of the road fleet. In 2010, the SD70M-2 was discontinued as the technology was deemed outdated and when compared to the AC traction diesels, they offered so much less than AC. Some of these locomotives found new careers on short lines and regional railroads.